My name is Doug Devillers and I'm the Group CEO of Intergroup in Africa. Well, I think the key thing is to understand that there will always be a host of moments, many different moments um, that will mean different things to different people on the day. The key thing is to understand which of those moments are the most impactful um, on clients, which are the most important, which of those moments have the biggest potential to make a lasting impression. And uh, depending on the type of industry you're in, some industry it is just about the behavior of an individual um, at an airline desk or a flight attendant on an aircraft that may have a bigger impression on you um, as far as that brand, that brand behaviors is concerned. Um, but to recognize that all the moments, all the interactions with a brand are all important, but to focus on those one or two that really jump out, that really make you different and authentic um, in the market in which you operate, it's, and leave that lasting impression, um, a lasting positive impression. If you have customers, there's an experience. And there's not a business in the world that doesn't have customers, whether you're um, in religion or you know, from churches to education to um, motor vehicle sales, pick a number. Everybody has customers or clients or stakeholders and hence an experience. So often the, the, the misconception is that customer service belongs to the retail environment only and that's, that's not true. Customer experience is when you're dealing with somebody on a business to business basis, where you're dealing with somebody in a non-profit organization Organization. Each of those interactions are part of an experience and depending on how well that experience is delivered um, you either make or break the relationship. So customer experience or customer service as it's poorly called um, is critical in every single market sector regardless. Well, I think one of the biggest problems is that customer service in its, in its generic form is not a differentiator and people need to, and organizations and brand owners need to recognize that there's a host of things that you have to do in the normal course of business and at best that's called customer service. So you know you expect to be greeted courteously, you expect to have um, someone that is dealing with you that understands your brand or your challenge and that can deal with it. You expect the phone to be answered um, you know, quickly, all of these things. These are basic elements of it's good manners when it comes to brand. Um, if you don't have those things you're not in the game anyways. Um, the the problem is that a lot of organizations think that just good customer service is a differentiator. It's not. Good customer service is a basic requirement. The organization that then says, actually, we get it. We understand that these are the things that we normally, that we need to do in the normal course of business. Um, these are the things, the table stakes, the hygiene factors that keep us in business. Recognize them and do the, the training appropriately, but don't regard them as something that's going to make you different. Then look for the plus plus. Then sit back and say, okay, we have good customer service. Our people are courteous, they greet people, they know what they're doing. The next level up is how do you truly differentiate the customer experience by delivering beyond the service and deliver that experience in a way that is appropriate to your brand.